Good afternoon, Wolfpack. My name is Nisha Samra. And I'm Ryan Mejia. Today is Wednesday, September 6th, and we're here with your afternoon announcements. Seniors, the deadline for the Disneyland trip has been extended to September 21st. You could buy your ticket in the student store during lunch. Student drivers, please make sure you have a parking pass. Mr. Brown has been citing vehicles. The drivers that don't have passes will be on the no privileges list. Parking passes are available in the main office for free. Just scan the QR code on the screen, fill out a Google form to apply for one. The St. Mary's College of California will host a presentation in the Career Center during fifth period this Friday. To sign up for the presentation, scan the QR code on screen or check your Synergy email for more information. Now let's check out what's happening in the world of entertainment. I'm Aubrey Scholl. And I'm Mara Schrantz. And welcome back to your entertainment update. Early, earlier this week, Netflix released its live-action adaptation of the popular anime One Piece. When its initial trailer first dropped, there were a lot of mixed opinions from fans, as some felt it shouldn't be adapted to live-action and have fear of its quality considering Netflix's bad track record of live-action anime adaptations. Fortunately, now that this has been released, the overall reception for it has been positive with it even getting an audience score of 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. If you are a longtime fan or just, or, or just interested, it might be worth it to check out. In music related news, Taylor Swift's movie on her record breaking airs tour, concert releasing in theaters on October 13th, cr crushes previous ta s ticket sales for 2023, ranking it among other high ticket pre-sale movies such as Avengers Endgame and Spider-Man No Way Home. This could be a sign that even during its relatively short run in the theaters, it could possibly reach the ranks of the highest grossing movies of the year. In other news, due to the ongoing Hollywood strikes by writers and actors, Warner Brothers is expecting revenue losses of up to $500 million this year, as it has halted production on most of its shows and movies. This also is affecting other major companies like Disney, Universal, and Sony. Hopefully these strikes end soon with a success for the writers and actors as signs of another strike for mo movie game developers ensues. Well, that's all we have for you this week in the world of entertainment. I'm Aubrey Scholl. And I'm Mara Schrantz. Back, Back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Interesting news, guys. ASB will like your feedback on which football game themes you, as a school, would like to see at our upcoming games. Please complete the Google form on screen so we can implement the themes for our next game on the 8th. Speaking of football, we go against Intercom High School this Friday. The JV game will start soon after dismissal, followed by the varsity game. You, you will earn two IMCO points for just attending the game. If you are currently on the no privileges list, you will need to be cleared by the end of the day Thursday to be able to attend. Hope to see you there. Well, enough from us. Let's pass it on to Ethan and Devin for sports. What's up, Wolfpack? My name is Devin Steffen. And I'm Ethan Nguyen. And, and we're, we're here, here with, with your sports, sports update. update. To start off our varsity football game, our football team, unfortunately a loss against Wood Creek with it being close in our first half, but losing 16 to 28. Once but our JV team has been going crazy, having a 3-0 record, beating Wood Creek 30 to 20. Good job, guys. Let's hope they go undefeated. Mm -hmm. In volleyball news, our girls beat Rosemont High School 3 to 1, looking good. They go against Sheldon this Thursday. Good luck, good luck ladies. ladies. On to other sports news, Travis Kelsey has unfortunately hyperextended his knee and is unlikely to play week one, though this injury does not seem serious. Well, hope to, hope to see him soon. In FIBA news, Team USA is still undefeated, moving on to the second phase with a perfect score of 4-0. to zero. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. Thanks for being good, sports. He's Ethan. He's Devin. Back, Back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Ms. Tanaka is already accepting students to join the Japan trip for this summer. You'll visit Kyoto, Tokyo Disneyland, Tokyo Disney Sea, and the Skuji Fish Market. If you're interested in joining the tour, please check your Synergy email for more information. If you are graduating this year and you need to make up credits, credit recovery applications are open. 
course is a 12 weeks long for, for two days a week. Check your Synergy for more classes being offered and use the links in your Synergy email to sign up with your council's name. Have a great rest of your day, Wolfpack. I'm Ryan Mejia. And I'm Nisha Samurai. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy National Ice Coffee Ice Cream Day, Wolfpack.